This country is losing its morals. Men everywhere are ejaculating in the socks, condoms, boxes. Each little sperm could have been a child who cured cancer. It's horrifying. Yesterday we protested at a local men's health clinic. These clinics are telling men that drugs like Viagra can cure erectile dysfunction. But what they forget to tell men is that it also raises the risk for prostate cancer. We are doing this to protect men's health. Sometimes I just think about all of the sperm wasted by men. Don't they want to be fathers someday? Hi, I'm Betty. I'm the mother of two beautiful boys, Alex and Rob. About a week ago, I noticed Alex wasn't out with Rob playing basketball like they normally do after school. I was trying to find him, so I went into his room and his door was shut, which is very strange. When I opened the door, I found that he was masturbating. That night, I found a crusty sock in the laundry. He killed those babies. I'm so ashamed my son would do something like this. I think a lot of men are not being considerate of their mothers and sisters and wives. Their sperm has the ability to create life. And when they ejaculate and the sperm doesn't reach an egg, then that baby dies. A lot of men go to men's healthcare facilities searching for condoms and Viagra so they are able to masturbate more without a woman's presence. These clinics need to be shut down immediately for their own health. There's a lot of laws and regulations placed on our clinic to tell us how we can prescribe certain medications. For example, last year, a bill almost shut our clinic down because our front hallways were too narrow. And also with Viagra, I'm legally required by law to inform every patient that it can cause prostate cancer. And I even need to perform a prostate exam before even prescribing it even though there's no scientific evidence showing a correlation between the two. I don't think men understand that if it's legitimate procreation, then the male body has ways to turn the whole thing on. If a man claims to have an erectile dysfunction, then he isn't procreating. He's masturbating and probably into a condom. Hundreds of babies are killed because one man could not control his urges. So I need to travel over an hour to get to the nearest clinic that has condoms. Because I guess condoms aren't sold in stores anymore. And all the clinics around me closed down because of all the new stupid regulations. And now I need to come into a sock if I can even get a boner without buying a You know, it's my body and I can jerk it if I want to. Some studies have shown that condoms and Viagra cause prostate cancer. We are protesting to protect men's health. Prostate cancer is killing our men. I want to help these men, but the laws tell me I can't. These clinics shouldn't be open. I don't want my sons thinking masturbating's okay. Men should have control over their own bodies. Masturbation is murder. Sperm is life. <laughs>